Ultra Touch 4, completely touchscreen, no hard keys there. So you can build the panel to reflect the workflow you're working with. And we have almost everything that you would need in the live production environment. <laughs> Hello everyone here at the Ross booth. I'm here with the communications manager Stuart Russell to talk about what's new at Ross. Sure, yeah, no, with pleasure. We have a whole bunch of products, a whole bunch of solutions, and we're really trying to show everything off by application. So we have products for end-to-end -end news workflows, we have sports workflows, esports, we have venue controls, you know, live production environments, stadiums and so on. We have a whole bunch of infrastructure products as well, which are pretty cool to see. And we have almost everything that you would need now in the live production environment, apart from maybe intercoms, but there are plenty of other companies that, that do that well. So we have a couple of really nice products. The first one is a product called Gator Toolbox. Uh, which is on the website, and that is a really nice little signal processing, signal conversion problem solver. So it's single open gear cards, uh, quite densely populated, but it will basically take any signal in and it will then process it and export it as any signal out. In a live production environment, that's a really nice little lifesaver that will help keep everybody's blood pressure low, which is always good. We also have a really nice product that we're launching this year, which is the TRIA Plus UHD production server. So that is basically offers two channels, 4K UHD, and you can play and or record, mix and match, which is a nice kind of evolution to the range of production servers that we have. Also new is something called Smart Shell, which is the control platform for our camera motion systems, our camera robotics. And the cool thing about this version of Smart Shell is that it has something in it called Motion Director. And Motion Director basically is a firmware update. It's an algorithm that improves the way that the cameras move across the rails. So things like stopping and starting becomes much more smooth, much more natural. And we, you know, we like to keep it smooth at Ross. So it just improves the way that the shots look when you start and stop the, the cameras. And you can also make some adjustments on the fly as well. So you can speed up, slow down. We call it time dilation. Again, just offering users that little bit more flexibility, that little bit more kind of efficiency when they're running their productions. That's excellent. And I know there's also something new about the Carbonite series in combination with the UltraTouch. And since I'm using these products when directing shows, I'm quite interested in what's new there with the UltraTouch. Sure, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, at IBC last year, we launched UltraTouch 2, which is basically a 2RU fully customizable touchscreen panel. So you would use that for monitoring and control. It's the usual story. You launch a brand new product, and then about 10 minutes after you launch it, someone says, well, that's great, but can we have a bigger one? So, okay, fine. So let, let's see what we can do. You know, we try and take the customer feedback and do something with it. So this year we're launching Ultra Touch 4. So again, four rack units in size, but fully customizable. It's a little bit like having an iPhone in your racket on your desk. The nice thing about it is that because it is fully touchscreen, with some of the other panels out there, you have a combination of soft keys and hard keys. So you do have to adapt to the limitations of the panel. This is completely touchscreen, no hard keys there. So you can build the panel to reflect the workflow that you're working with, no matter how unusual or how different it is. So I think that's pretty cool, and I think we're going to get some good success with that. Quickly to touch on Carbonite. So Carbonite is the world's best-selling mid-size switcher production family. We launched the Carbonite Ultra last year. This year, we turned on the UHD side of things. We have a media player inbuilt in the Carbonite, and we're turning that on as well. So you can now take a USB key or a thumb drive, you can plug that directly into the panel and you can run media from it. So that's a bit of a Ross exclusive because there is only one other panel in the marketplace that offers that and it's a Ross panel as well. So that's not something that any other brand offers. So that's quite nice. Maybe you can expand and talk to us about how well is Ross performing in a time when live production has changed so much, even using smaller panels for live Twitch recordings and smaller vloggers and how all these things have changed the processes and the effects that this has on your company. Yeah, it's a good point. I mean, this is an industry that is changing and is transforming. And what we're seeing is an explosion in the amount of content that people are creating. Now, because we are in the acquisition production side of things, I'm not going to say we don't care because that doesn't really sound right. But no, I mean, we don't really care 
how the content's created or how the content's delivered, I should say. You know, we just care about people creating more content, so that's fantastic. And the transport and the mechanism that they use to get that out to the audience, we're, we're less worried about that. You know, we're, we're more interested in how people are actually creating the content and how they're making that more creative in turn. We're very fortunate, I think, in terms of the company and the reputation. We have a great reputation in North America where the company started. It's Canadian. It's been around for 44 years now. So we're very, very well known in North America. In Europe, Middle East and Africa, I always say we're still a little bit of a kind of challenger brand. We don't have the same kind of profile and the same brand awareness as we maybe do in North America. We're still a family owned business as well. We've only ever had two CEOs, John Ross the founder and now David Ross his son. So there is a consistency of approach, a consistency of style. I think customers like that. I think we are incredibly customer focused and I know a lot of other companies would probably also make that claim. We can be very customer focused because we're not a publicly listed company. You know, we don't have external shareholders. If we can do the right thing and it's going to make customers' lives easier and it's going to help them, then we'll do that because that's the way that we succeed. We're only as good as our customers and our partners. Excellent. And I wish you all the very best and thank you very much for sharing all these deep insights and everything that's new here from the show.